So what's up, y'all? It's Saturday. It's Fun Fest Day. Uh, Herbie and I are at Mid America Fun Fest for Air Cooled Volkswagen 2018. Uh, it's Saturday. It's the main show day. It's been a while since I've ever posted anything on YouTube, period, but it's also been a while since I've posted anything uh, Herbie-related, which I'm sure is why I have the few hundred su subscribers that I do have. So, with that in mind, I figured I would post an awesome walk-around video of one of the coolest cars, in my personal opinion, the coolest car here at Mid-America Motorworks Fun Fest 2018, and that is this sucker right here. Check this out. So, what y'all are looking at is the original stunt car used in the Love Bug. Um, it's, this is a Disney used movie car. This is Herbie number 10 from the Love Bug and it was actually used in the sequel, Herbie Rides Again, in the Beetle Army scene. This is actually the same car that was the yellow car that came out of the junkyard that was all wobbly and the fenders were coming off of it and it was like only running on three wheels or something like that. And this, it's the same car, and it was, uh, it's now owned by a gentleman in Texas who is here at the show, a good Herbie fan, and it, it was owned before him by Tori Alonzo, who's owned numerous original movie cars and is well known. He's one of the producers on the Bug documentary movie that came out a few years ago, and this car is actually in the movie, uh, and when the movie was filmed, uh, if you ever watch it, Tori was still under the ownership of it at that time. He has since sold it to this gentleman in Texas. And this car has a lot of unique things on it that I wanted to point out. So the first thing you'll notice is obviously, um, being the stunt car, it obviously underwent a lot of uh, damage yeah, <laughs> from the film. And uh, this, uh, this is the famous Kai Hala, Kai Hala uh, hood, uh, which is, which is kind of cool. And this is Clayton, this is the owner. Hi. Mr. Clayton. Clayton, you want to open uh, the hood Absolutely. for us yeah, so we can see the, uh, this is so cool. the classic this is numbers here. in there? So you can see part of like this extra bracing, which I'm assuming is like part of the tow rig, because this car was actually towed by the Buick Apollo Thorndike, the Thorndike Special, and when they filmed the car, this is the car that actually drives that dives off the cliff, and that's part of the reason why it looks is nowhere near as, is as good as it does. But you can still see these are bungees that are still here tied to the hinges. And, the, and those are left over from the Love Bug because this is also the same car that Irish drank car. the Irish coffee that is basically driving over the tire markers at Riverside Raceway. And you can see some of this the original Disney stenciling, car number 11. Because, number, the, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and say it. Clay. Yeah, car number 11 was the, the number they, they had it labeled as in Herbie Rides Again. Yep. There's Herbie number 10 in the Love Bug. Yep, and actually you can see the Herbie number 10 livery on the inside of the door here. Right there, number 10. Probably one of the most interesting aspects of this car is the fact that it is not a genuine 63 Sunroof model, which most of the original movie cars were not. This is actually a 57 Beetle. And if you know anything about 57 Beetles, um, you notice that 57 was the last year of the oval window. This car originally was an oval window car, which Disney cut the rear window out and added reinforcement for the louvers to make it give it the appearance of a regular 63 standard sedan. So it still has Beetle era rear fenders with later style 63 style. And, and ovals never cut out this center louver right here. That's another example of an oval. And this car is actually kind of identifiable in some of the uh, behind the scenes photos because I, we think it's the, one, the only Love Bug car that was originally an oval that was widened. We think it was. Another really cool right thing about this car is the deck lid that's on it. So if you watch the Love Bug, and this is really noticeable on the Blu-ray, which was great, which was released a couple years ago. If y'all haven't watched the films on Blu-ray, do yourself a favor. Get on Amazon and buy them. They're all available. You don't have to be a Disney Movie Club member to get them because I know they're a Disney Movie Club exclusive. But the deck lid that is on this car is the deck lid that appeared on every single car used in the end of the El Dorado sequence in the Love Bug. So starting at the end of the sequence where Herbie falls out of the tree and the deck lid gets kind of crushed, this deck lid was moved from car to car and by some miraculous miracle it's still in existence and it is still used uh, on this car today as the deck lid. So basically this this deck lid was on the split apart car, it was on the hydraulic car, both cars that were driven by Carrie Lofton, who if you don't know is the famed Hollywood stuntman who actually doubled Steve McQueen in Bullet, and a neat little modification that supposedly 
the, you'll notice on the interior here is how the pedal assembly, specifically the brake and the clutch pedal, are tilted at a little bit of an angle. The story behind that is supposedly Kerry Lofton always liked to drive in his work boots. So by moving the pedal assembly over, you know, you obviously work boots are going to be kind of wide, so you wouldn't have, um, you know, you'd probably hit the brake and you'd hit the clutch at the same time, which is not something you want to do, especially when you're driving a stunt car. But it's powered basically by a 40 horsepower engine. You'll notice this original seat belt that Tori found, which is really, really cool. If we go on the other side, oh, we're, Clayton's going to show us the engine. So it's running a 40 horse, and this is likely the engine that was in it uh, when the movie was filmed. Because there is a, a skid plate underneath the transaxle fork, and uh, you'd have to cut it off and unweld it to get to the engine, so very cool that this was a, hasn't been slid off the case. I guess as they filmed with it in 73, since the movie came out in 74. Yeah, yeah, it probably would have been filmed in 73, rides again. And another great part about this car is the dash. You'll notice that the glove box is signed by the late, great Dean Jones, by Michelle Lee, and by Danny Lee, who was the special head of the special effects at, Dis at Disney at the time. Uh, Academy Award winner Danny Lee has also signed the glove box of this car. So obviously the graphics have been replaced. Oh, Clayton just started her before us. But this 53 is an original Disney 53 from the movie. The rest of them have all been replaced by Tori when he restored the car, but this is an original Disney 53. This still runs like a champ. The strength of 40 horses. The strength of 40 horses, Clayton says. Custom widened wheels her love bug race specification. And if you look closely at the car, you will still see some of that famous yellow house paint that was used on the car when it was the yellow junker in Herbie Rides Again. Unfreaking believable. Easily one of the coolest movie cars I've ever had the privilege of seeing in person. So I hope you all enjoyed that little behind the scenes look at Herbie number 10. Special thanks to Clayton for giving us a little bit of a walk around and joining us. And yeah, maybe we can go for a ride later. Now Clayton, I have to preference the fact that in my entire professional career, I've dealt with classics and exotics okay. since I was 20 years old. Right. I have driven everything from Colombo V12 powered Ferraris to a Mercedes 300 SL Goldwing. Yes. Million dollar cars. <laughs> and now you're in a 57, 63 wannabe. <laughs> That's an original movie car that Terry Lofton drove and Max Blauchowski worked on. Oh my God, I might cry. I seriously there you might go. cry. And then you just ride the clutch.